United Way Williamson County. We are out with the mayors today, going out in the community and delivering meals and bringing exposure to Meals on Wheels here. We also were excited that Sweet CC's has partnered with Meals on Wheels today to provide 20% of their proceeds back to Meals on Wheels. Okay, so you, you had two mayors help out today, uh, Sweet CC's. Does something like that make a difference? It does. Having the mayors here has been a huge exposure for them and, for, and an opportunity for them to see the needs in the community and an opportunity for the community to see this generous time of their sharing of their time in the community as well. And we, of course, love you know, partnering with both mayors and they're wonderful supporters of United Way. They, they absolutely know that what our message is, is to help the community as a whole. And we appreciate them coming out too. Today they're having um, Italian beef casserole. That's in uh, chuck wagon corn and green peas. So it's kind of a hearty meal today. And then they'll have their rolls, the milk, and then the dessert, either peanut butter fluff or the um, green Okay. Butter. So y'all are good to go. Come in with you and bring you food. I think we're supposed to do a little interview with you. Well, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, what does she get, Mr. Kent? She gets the buttermilk and graham crackers. Buttermilk, graham crackers, and a meal. And a meal. All right. Well, thank you all. You know what we're having today for lunch? It's Italian. Beef. That looks pretty oh, good, that doesn't looks it? Good. And some corn and yeah. green peas. I'm gonna put them right up here, okay? Okay. Well now tell us why or you're the, they tell us that you're the that you're the social director. Resident, resident director to help the residents here with whatever issues that they may be, you know, want help with. And uh, it's really a good thing because, well, you know, the older we get, and uh, we have issues, and especially these are the health insurance issues that have come up lately, and it's it's just a good thing to be doing. So. Well, now, do you enjoy living here? You haven't been here that long. It's wonderful. You've got a beautiful place. You've decorated it just... It is exquisite. Yes. I've got to figure out a few things sitting up that I can put up <laughs> that I've got to put up. Either plant it or do something with it. Yeah. But it's a good thing. Yeah. Right. Well, you're welcome. Thank you. 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 you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Dr. Charles E. Johnson, yeah, Mr. he delivered me, me and my twin brother. Oh, wow. I'm a twin. And your face is for me, Mr. Mayo. Oh, okay. Hi. And we just got to, yes, yes. we should have introduced ourselves. So, um, Tell me why Meals and Wheels is important to you. Because we're trying to encourage more people. Our, it, our presence is just to draw more attention to it. It's very important because we have so many seniors that's not able to prepare the meals. Yes, ma'am. And this is just a wonderful thing that they can get meals like this every day. At least they'll get a full meal. They can, you know, perhaps fix the breakfast. And then uh, the families comes in and helps too. But that's, that's just a wonderful thing. Helps to save on them buying groceries. Because all seniors don't get the food stamps. I mean, it, a lot of them don't get food stamps. Yes, ma'am. And so that's a big help. Well, 
before we leave, you ought to know the mayor of Franklin, Dr. Kenmore, is also a physician. So mm -hmm. today he's kind of hobbling a little bit. He's had a little oh, knee work, but he might. He, you might could give him some uh, pointers on how to get around a little better today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> he's uh, he's trying to get you in trouble if you hadn't figured it out. <laughs> Maybe you should. Uh, Best thing to do is I hope your leg gets well. Maybe and, uh, you can do like some of us and you fed the cane. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you for the advice. It sounds a lot like my wife. Just when you need it. Yeah, did my wife call you and ask to tell you what to say? Well, thank you for letting us invade your home, your 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 lovely home, and you've done a great job thank decorating you. it. And I see you've got the dishes all set over that, set out over there. So we'll just. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, pass on the invitation to eat with you. And, yeah. You got our Bible pulled out there to yeah. do a little reading, it looks like. Oh, yes, we have a Bible study. Oh, do you? Hill of uh, the Residents on Tuesday, every Tuesday night. And we've got, when the residents got sailed in, we didn't have a lot of participation, but we're having so much more participation with the activities that, that, that uh, mm -hmm. that's, you know, we're promoting. Well, you're so. building a great community of people here. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm glad that the Franklin Housing Authority has been able to, to uh, mm -hmm. get the opportunity to build Reddick Place, and we look forward to continue to work with them as a city to continue to improve the housing here. Yes, and very much so. And I just came from a, another senior activity where uh, this gentleman, I forget his name, he was there from the Heritage Foundation and and uh, he talked on this uh, Reddick family. Oh, did and, he? Yes, uh, back at the same time. Mm -hmm. and, Sarah and, Reddick, wasn't it? Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I worked with the McGavick family. Yes, and I brought it out that, you know, the name of our building here. Our senior Reddick residence mm -hmm. was named after the Reddick family. So, well, well, Dr. Moore, before all this food gets too cold, we better make some more rounds. <laughs> We've got another room to go to. Yeah, you got you know some of my family, Alma, my sister is, Alma. Is Alma, is Alma your, sister? your sister? Yes. Well, hug her neck for her. Okay. She's a good one. <laughs> I tell her I saw you. Now, is she your older sister? No, baby. <laughs> I was going to give you the opportunity. <laughs> but she's a fine lady, good Christian lady. Can't get her to slow down at all. Well, she does a lot of great things in her Yes, she does. Yes, she does. So good to meet you. Yes, yeah, nice meeting you all again. Bye-bye. We're going to go. Thank you. You have a great day. Mr. Mayor. Nice seeing you. Uh-huh. You too. pictures is that you with a hat on over there yeah that's an old picture <laughs> well your hair's kind of turned color since then well now are you from williamson county i'm i i am from nolensville you're from nolensville <laughs> oh my goodness where'd you go to school at franklin high school so back right here you had to come all the way from nolensville mm -hmm. see my i lost my husband last year yes ma'am and this year you know, I just, I didn't dream I was going to be in this place, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what a so, he didn't get to see it, but I lost him, you know. But I did manage to keep his pictures mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. much as I could. Because we just had that done at the Nolan Church of Christ. Yeah. And I said, well, I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. I did pretty good, you know, to you sure do did. what I did. Well, we good. had a heart. Well, you, I'm getting it here. you didn't know that old rascal over there named Newt McCord, did you? Yes, he's that, the one 
mayor does. No. Really? Yes. <laughs> that old, old building. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the Mosleys over there are trying now, to. I know the Mosleys. Pete and, uh, well, I'm drawing a blank on his wife's name. But uh, <laughs> they're trying to resurrect that historical, uh, the old gym. Yeah, and, I heard about that. And they're doing everything they can. Now, you know that gym is the second oldest gymnasium in the state of Tennessee that still uses the two-thirds gym. Did you know that? Oh. The original oldest one is the old BGA gym. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I was raised up in that old uh, school house, the school, old school. Now, did you work or just stay at home? I worked, honey. I worked. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I'm ready to retire. <laughs> but we had to, all my life, we've been coming out here from Franklin to yes. Knowles for on the school bus and everything. And I'll be dang. I, I think I needed a rest. <laughs> we have been going all my life ever since I've been in school. Well, now, don't eat both of these. Give one no, to room no. <laughs> I ain't. I'm going to give it to her. All right, now. So good to see you. Oh, Thank you for letting us come in. Okay. God bless you. I love your smile. Wow. I keep everybody going. You know, right there. You're the best. We've just finished delivering the Meals on Wheels here in Franklin, Tennessee, and all of our time was spent over to Reddy, Ken. Oh, absolutely, and uh, the amazing thing was uh, there were something almost 100 meals today, and there were volunteers from all over the city out delivering uh, meals just like we were. Uh, you know, my thoughts after visiting is I was very touched by the people we visited, uh, touched by their need. Uh, and the fact that we were able to deliver them a healthy, nutritious meal uh, was very important. Before we cut away, and I would echo everything you've said, let's get some comments from United Way. They're always looking for volunteers, always looking mm -hmm. for people to mm -hmm. help. And, and one of the purposes of the two mayors uh, doing this is bring a little bit more attention to it. Mm -hmm. There is a need for seniors in, in Williamson County that, that goes a bit without saying. You know, you go over somewhere that we just were at Reddick Place and you help folks and you, you see them and you provide this nutritious meal. But there are many, many seniors in Williamson County that have to pick between food and groceries and medicine or paying their bills. And that is one of the things that Meals on Wheels provides. That, as you said, almost 100 meals went out today. They have volunteers twice a week. And, and it's also the community support that volunteers provide for these folks, as we found. And if people want to get involved or want to know a little bit more, mm -hmm. how do they make contact with you? Well, with United Way Williamson County, it's 771-2312 is our phone number. Or you can go to our website. Um, in my Jenny Soares, you can call and ask for me. I'd be happy to talk to anybody. And you know, also Meals on Wheels has got, you know, Sonia's also got contact with our team. Well, it's been a good day. I got more out of it than the folks we were living food for, I promise you. And I think that we actually were able to deliver the correct amount of buttermilk, correct amount of rolls, and the correct amount of uh, puffy peanut butter fluff. Uh, well, there was one correction, uh, one mistake. That was mine. I gave it to the wrong people. But the ladies <laughs> fixed it for us. <laughs> well, that's why we had them along, to make sure we could uh, get things corrected after we messed it up. Thanks for being with us today, and please get involved. At, you know, at United Way, but even more so on this particular program, the Meals on Wheels here in Franklin, Tennessee. Have a good day.